Yo, dog. Welcome to the channel, huh? My name is Jeremy. Uh, welcome to Bibles, Bullies, and Bogies. This is my first chainsaw carving. We had a stump in our yard. Stay tuned to the video, and I'm going to show you guys kind of the process along the way. I'll set up the camera so you can see actually some of the work being done. And, uh, you know, they always ask, does a bear crap in the woods? Well, no. He takes a dump in a stump. Thank you for bearing with me. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you enjoy the videos, hit subscribe. I'm naming this guy Papa Squat. So stay tuned. Let's get this going. Don't forget to watch to the end of the video and I'll actually show you guys this completed. Uh, this is just honestly the bare bones. Last bad joke, maybe. Just so you know, uh, if you're wanting anything done, I have plenty to choose from here. They've been doing a lot of cutting uh, beside my father-in-law's property, so we're, uh, we're welcome to the scraps. So, I'm thinking that piece right there, that's about a three and a half foot piece. That's going to be a nice, probably, I'll try to do a full size bear out of it. And I'm going to carve some neat looking trees and different stuff out of this, some of this. So, let me know if you're interested. This is one of my favorite spots. I just ride my four wheeler around and then I'll come up here and sit for a minute. It's where I'm close to my dad. It's just beautiful. Always. Sunrise to sunset. It's not my land, but it's beautiful. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a while. Took a break from YouTube, other than watching videos. But, uh, still got all the pups. Grass is long, got to cut grass, going to get ready to do that. And I'm going to try something new, a uh, little chainsaw carving. So, this is what I'm starting out with. It's a pretty big stump. I mean, there you can see, it's probably, I don't know, three and a half foot tall. Pretty big around, pretty good size around. I already started shaving it down a little bit. I know that some of this is no good. See, it's rotted out in here. So I'm going to cut away what's bad and see if there's anything usable. If so, then I may attempt to carve something out of it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. For those that have been on the channel for a while, you know I'm an artist, multi-surface, excuse me, multi-surface artist. Everything from airbrushing walls to motorcycles to doing decorative concrete and painting and all kinds of different stuff, carving walking sticks. So today it's just a bigger scale. Well, I got a bunch cut off. You can see how far it used to come out. I think I got rid of most of the rot and stuff. I had done a bunch of carving just to get a feel for stuff and ran into more rotted on the in the roots. So if the base isn't good, none of it's going to be good. So I don't even know. We may end up just cutting it out of the ground and burning it out. It's coming along. I'm going to... This is a rough block of a bare head. 
and I think I'm gonna make it where like his paws look like they're coming out of the stump like he's actually in the stump so I'm having to do this slowly because I've never tried this before so I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm just trying to figure it out so this is what I have right now it's challenging for sure all right I'm done for today I've been using a angle grinder with a sanding disc 40 grit and getting shapes of stuff done a little bit um i'm trying to get it to not look like a raccoon right now so <laughs> um i still have some carving to do so i'm going to set up the camera and show you guys that and as well as like clean up and stuff like that and i'll try to just put some um well I'll speed it up so you can see what's happening and I'll try to get a good angle on it so you can kind of see what I'm doing and so on. But appreciate you all watching. Stay tuned. I'm sure someone will ask, but I'm using a Echo CS 3510 16 inch bar. Nothing fancy. We use it for cutting all around the house. That's all I have. I am not sponsored. I have very few tools. This is my first one. All right, so I'm still shaping this guy up some a little bit with the chainsaw. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna move to an angle grinder after that. I'm not nearly as fast as most of the people out there, so don't judge me. Or judge me if you want to, I don't care. <laughs> to an angle grinder and clean this guy up some and uh you know don't forget to do the do speaking of doo-doo <laughs> pop a squat i told you bad jokes man all right let's get this angle grinder going so i just have a dewalt angle grinder i'm using a 40 grit sanding disc and all I'm going to do on this is kind of go around him. I did a bunch yesterday on here. Um, as you see, there's oil and dirt and stuff on him now from the chainsaw. So, but I'm going to clean up all the, the arms, the legs, the chair that he's sitting on, or toilet, whatever you want to call it. And that way I can kind of see what we're working with. And we'll keep going from there. Like I said, I'm doing this slower than probably most of the carvers that you see out there but uh i just i've never done it man it's you know i've carved walking sticks but this is a whole nother level so let's do some work Mike Rowe out here. Dirty job. Is I'm just starting to give shape, you know, to the face itself. I'm going to have to do a lot of work with a Dremel. 
because I can't fit down in all this stuff. And then, <clears throat> like I said, I've got the uh, face to carve. But what that did is that started to shape all the arms and legs a lot better and clean them up and any saw cuts that I had or stuff like that. But Papa Squat's coming along. I had and I started texturing all the fur. Um, not all the fur, I haven't done the legs. So you can kind of see the difference between the arms and the legs right now. So the, the chair or the stump or the toilet or whatever you want to call it, it'll stay smooth. And right now I'm still shaping. It's tricky with this bigger chainsaw. Most carvers are using like a 2511 uh, with a carver bar. And this is just a stock 3510. I did find one, but it's about 530 bucks, so I can't justify it for just playing around. But if I ever get to where I'm doing this stuff, cool, I'll get one. Oiled up, gassed up, ready to go. <laughs> which way the hair would flow so like as I change direction I'm trying to change direction you know just like how the bear how the bear's fur would be it takes me a little longer it's all right take your time have fun <laughs> Noticed if you go faster like that, it doesn't skip and jump as bad. So in trickier areas, I'm having to use more of the side of it than the point. And I mean, a carving bar doesn't have a sprocket and it's real narrow. This is a standard bar, so it has a sprocket in the end. And this is a normal chain where you can get uh, low profile detail chains. So. You know, an actual, uh, what I looked at was a 2511 WES, and I found one, like I said, with a carving bar, all set up, ready to go, brand new, and it's about 530 bucks. So, I mean, obviously, I can't just buy it to buy it. Um, I would like to keep doing some of this, though. It's pretty fun. Um, I'm going to try some different stuff out of just, you know, logs. And I'll make those available for sale on the channel, I guess. <laughs> decent I'm on a pup break right now 
And uh, good news is these guys absolutely love the wood chunks. Like they've been doing that right there. Just sitting and chewing on them, which is fine. It doesn't bother me any. Once I'm finished, I'll clean it all up and get the yard looking right again. This is a one-time thing, so. Yeah, doggy break. He is pretty close. I got the nose carved. I told you I had a crack here, so I put two screws in his nostrils, but when I'm done, you won't see those. Um, textured his face with a Dremel and chainsaw. Well, we grabbed a few pieces to start messing with some stuff. You see Isaac's there, so kind of get a size comparison some of the smaller ones i may do like you know small standing bears or uh found some pretty cool trees i want to try and then the bigger ones probably do a stand-up bear out of this one and i don't know yet they're whatever this huge one is unique so i'm possibly going to make some epoxy tables out of this in the middle will have epoxy in it so it's not hollow all the way, but most of it. But it's probably about a six and a half or seven foot piece. And it's huge. So, let me know if you want something. When in doubt, burn it out. Let's get this guy burned. Um, what this is going to do is get rid of a lot of the little frays and stuff from the chainsaw and the texture. I carved his eyes out today. Um, I'm pretty much calling him good. It's not bad for what I started with and this being my first time. And as you guys saw, I have some other projects to come. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Let's burn this guy out. It's like painting with fire. Ha. Show you better up close what all that did. So, and you can go as much or as little as you want to. The main purpose of this is to get rid of the frame. And now I'm gonna use a, a little flapper sander on a drill and hit it so that it's not sharp in anywhere i had done it already in the back so the sander will give these light spots and what's going to happen is there'll be basically three colors in the fur without doing anything else to it so the bear is pretty much done other than touching up around eyes and stuff like that and then I got a little bit of work to do on the chair, and I may stain the chair so that it really separates it from the bear. A generic Lowe's, put it on a drill, and sand. So I did what I could to get this guy done, and I'll have to pick up some more tools for our future projects. Top of squat, guys. Uh, artwork is up to you. Um, An artwork is never finished until the artist says it's finished. I'm almost finished. I had an accident with a spray can. Nice, huh? I took the lid off and popped and broke. Wrecked my shirt. So, there you go. If you have access to an airbrush that'd be better but this works i'm just uh adding some dimension hiding some stuff i'm going to clean up the chair with my other sander and that's going to be about it i mean for the most part this guy is finished i'm going to clean up a little bit of this overspray um, 
or I may just fade it in to where it looks right and we're good to go uh, I will I'm gonna stop showing you what I'm doing but I'll show you when it's finished stay tuned well guys he's finished as you saw at the beginning it's windy today we have a storm coming in for a few days so I did I got everything finished yesterday got two coats of clear on it today and Papa squat is officially finished this is my first carving so I hope you enjoyed it if you liked the video please hit like drop a comment and let me know what you'd like to see more of uh, this was a chainsaw carved bear and he's you know the concept is dumping a stump we went ahead and did a mahogany stain on the stump itself and the bear was just burned uh, lightly sanded and painted as you saw and we went ahead and put whites in the eyes and a couple coats of clear on them to finish them up I hope you enjoyed my work like I said uh, I've done a lot of different things but this was something I really wanted to try and as you saw the stumps in the background I've got more stuff that I'm gonna plan to do so if there's something you'd like to see let me know and I'll do my best I do have a couple things planned specifically that I would just like to try. Um, this was very unknown. The stump itself was really bad. It was an eyesore in our yard. So I just wanted to make it something nice for when people come up and they'll see old, good old Papa Squat. I appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to hit like one last time and we will see you soon.